Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Chris, I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. And we have another What's Old video for you today. It is Saturday right now, but I don't think we have enough sales to do a whole video today. So we're probably gonna add this in with some other What's Olds later on. But I'm gonna turn it over to Kathy and we'll see what we have to go out today. Hey guys, yeah, we got five and they're pretty decent little five. So happy with that. But yeah, our sales have still my been voice slow. Starting to crack now. Oh, I must yeah. have got Chris's butt. <laughs> just it's just a little cold. Yeah. Happens every year. Yep. Um, first item that sold are these black diamond like climbing shoes. I actually found these at in the kids section of a Goodwill, so they were only priced at $5.99, and I sold them for $35 plus ship, so not too bad. Um, those sold on Facebook Marketplace. And they are under a pound, so I'm just gonna ship them in a poly mailer. All right, and then BU. Finally had a kids in sale. <laughs> yeah, our sales are still super slow over the past few days. Today's no different, <laughs> really. I'm gonna keep listing though. Yeah. Once it picks up, I'll have more stuff available. Yeah. So I think everyone's kind of busy with the holidays this time of year. I'm still, I'm, I'm below my goal now, but not much, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm still good. Um, these are some Abeo, Abeo, Abeo. <laughs> Little ankle booties. Um, I picked these up at a local thrift for $10.99. Sold them on Kittizen for $47.20 free ship. Um, shipping cost $9.50. So I'm still profiting about 20, 21 bucks on those. And then those will ship out in just a random box. This was the sale of the day, CN. These are some men's bogs, like Chelsea leather boots. Huh. Um, I picked these up retail arbitrage, so I did pay $15 for them, but they sold for $100 on Posh. So wow. That was my full list price. I was expecting them to cancel. They purchased like right after we went to the post office last night. So I just crossed my fingers. They did not cancel and they didn't. So very happy with that sale. That was like a 60 something dollar profit. Love that. Messing up all our boxes <laughs> and I'll send those out in a regional B. And then this cutie finally sold. Oh, the Care Bear. This one has been listed a few months at this point, maybe even more than a few. Um, but I picked this up at a local thrift for $1.99 and it sold for 20 So someone offered me wow. 20 on push. Very happy with that. I will put this bear in a bag and then in a box. So. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, Rainbow Bear or something. <laughs> Rainbow Bear? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this one isn't vintage. It says 2015 on the tag, and it doesn't have the name. The older ones usually say the name of them on the tag. Right. Not this one. Maybe I friendly or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's not Lucky. <laughs> Lucky's the one I remember from a kid, from being a kid with I don't the. Remember any? <laughs> with the shamrock. Um, so. The last seal's in the closet. Probably a mess back here. Everything's a mess. So. We're gonna take it easy this weekend. Well, easy as in clean up our spaces. Yeah. <laughs> Not like do anything since we're all under the weather. Well, we went for a little train ride last night, which was fun. And, and then I um, woke up today like this. So. <laughs> yeah. It was cold so and, and a lot of outdoor again. stuff. And, um, but it was a lot of fun. Kids had a blast. Got to see Santa. Yep, I've been waiting to do that. Yeah, I said that yesterday, but yeah. since they were little, cause I wanted to make them be able remember to remember it, it. I think yeah. Remember it. So it was a super fun thing. If you guys are in the area of Canyon City, Colorado, yeah. it's a really fun <laughs> thing. It's it's expensive, but it's fun. <laughs> yeah, we did. I got the deal through one of our local pages, and it's only that train that is in November. All the December ones are like, like for our family, it would be over four hundred dollars. So yeah. it's just crazy. But if you are in town, the page <laughs> North Springs Mamas is what usually has the deal. On Facebook, yeah. So. Um, this is the last sale of the day. It's just the Abercrombie and Fitch parka. Cool. It is down feather. Um, I picked this up almost a year ago now when we were in Nebraska, so like last March. 
So it took a while to sell, but I paid $7.99 for it and it sold for 40 plus ships. So I think that's pretty good. Um, yeah, I knew it would sell. So yeah. Cool. <laughs> what do you think about that, Reese? Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's what <laughs> we'll get this stuff packed up and then we'll be right back. But I don't think we're going to get any more sales in that time. So we'll be right back. We'll see. All right, guys, got everything packed up, ready to go. I'm going to take it down to the post office. We checked the peel box. <laughs> yeah, Check yeah. We haven't checked in a while. Months. Um, let's see if there's any returns in there. Surprises. <laughs> Mostly just junk mails all we ever <laughs> Right. Someone else's junk mail, too. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm going to get this stuff off and then we're going to go ahead and start showing you guys what else sold over the weekend right now. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see me very well. It is Monday afternoon and our power just went out, which is a big pain in the butt. <laughs> so super dark up here and, um, Kathy's actually pulling orders. Thankfully she had already had all these labels printed out already. Except for, two. Except for two that came in after the power outage. Yeah, they're doing some construction like across the, the street over there near the Walmart and they cut a big power line and like everybody's powers out from like a big, big area. So we're going to get the stuff all pulled and take it outside and then show you guys what's sold for us. So it's a little bit of a different uh, video today, um, but we're going to take it outside and then hopefully there's enough light that we can show you guys what's sold for us today. And I literally turned the camera off for like 10 seconds and our power is back on, which is great because I didn't really want it. Like <laughs> our vacuum just turned on. <laughs> um, so stuff's kicking up right now. So uh, we're going to get this all straightened up and then we're going to start showing you guys up here because I'm glad I didn't have. We, it's kind of cold outside, so glad we don't have to go outside, but we'll we'll get set up and then we'll start showing you guys what's sold. <laughs> all right, guys, got everything pulled, figured out and ready to go so yeah, again it's a bit different than usual we're not gonna since we already pulled it yeah since and putting it back to right there goes, so, <laughs> and it's coming just... up on three o'clock we were kind of stressing out a little bit with the power outage um just because they were saying it was going to take until 4 30 which our post office closes at 4 30. right and like it was affecting them too because yeah when the power went out i was like dang i didn't eat lunch yet like yeah. our, you know the fridge is affected the yep. stove everything's affected so i was like I'll just run out and get something drive through. But all the lights over there where like all the food places are close to us, those yep. are all out too. So yep. our post office is right by there, so I'm sure their lights were out. I was like, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go into town, which would have been fine, <laughs> but I don't know. I haven't got anything photographed new today. I didn't even hit my 15 listings last night because I just wasn't feeling great. I hit nine, so. Yeah. yeah. It was just going to mess up it's, kind of the rest of the day. It's like, so. you know, Murphy's Law. Glad like the worst possible <laughs> time for the power to go out, and it did. <laughs> so anyway. we're back. We're going to get yeah. the showing what's sold for us today. Thankfully, we don't have 50 something things going out today. Right. All right. This is the first label I have. So this is just an LL Bean like a fair aisle sweater. It's not wool or anything. It's just a cotton sweater, but I just knew it would do well. It's like perfect for Christmas. I bought this just like a week or so ago for $8 at a local thrift and it's sold for $38 plus shipping on Mercari. So wow. really fast sale. I knew it would do well. I'm gonna toss stuff back in here at the moment. From one Hulk into the next. Yeah. And before the power went out, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna run and get a Starbucks. And then I'm going to bag all this stuff that's <laughs> been over here for days because I yeah. did not feel it well enough to put it away. That didn't happen. So <laughs> maybe tonight we'll see. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. All right. And then this is our viewer, Kendra. Bought two items. All right. So she bought these Harry Potter little baby vans and... Uh, Gap Kids shirt. I love this shirt. It just says um, it just has different phases of the moon. Awesome. Both of these were my kids' items, and Kendra bundled them on Posh and offered me 45, which was generous as always. 
Thank you so much, Kendra. Yes. So we'll get those sent out to you today. Kendra's a huge supporter of the channel. Yeah. Multiple purchases from us, and she recently uh, helped support us with uh, our new spreadsheet that we just launched yesterday. We're going to talk more about that in future videos just because we're kind of pressed on time today. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in checking out our spreadsheet that we recently launched, um, check out a video uh, probably just before this one. So you can check that out and get yours for free. <laughs> All right. Um, I sold another pair of the Blundstone boots. Uh, again, I bought these retail arbitrage, so I have $49 into them, but these this pair sold for 140 So wow. the first pair sold for 120 I think. So more than double my money, even after all the Poshmark fees. So Poshmark took $28 out of the 140 but I still made like 50-something. Yeah. Which is outstanding really <laughs> for, for retail, retail arbitrage, because yeah. we still have another pair. So that's three pairs. Yeah, I made 150 bucks. One listing, pretty much, right? A couple Once different sizes, also. but. Yeah. Very little better work for um, yeah. probably profit about 150 when they all sell, so. So if you're not into retail arbitrage, yeah. we highly recommend it checking out these clearance, you know, days and stuff. All right, this is Echo, but I did sell two pairs of Echo this weekend. I think this is this one. Yep, yeah, Poshmark. So, I like selling Echo sneakers. They're just like a really nice leather sneaker. These are a men's pair. I had a high cost of goods this day of 11.36, but these sold for $40 with discount shipping, so about a $20 profit on those. Um, those were men's. And then these Under Armour gray pants. I think you, yeah, I think you did. What in the world? I don't know, my brain, guys. Okay. It's like the one bad thing about having really good, nice, standard operating procedures is like, it's, it's, <laughs> somebody throws a wrench in them, like you're just like, oh my gosh, what do I do, right? I <laughs> it's hard to adjust. It's funny, Chris at Daily Refinement sometimes talks about, if I get a million subs, I'm gonna go uh, be homeless and show how to become a reseller from nothing. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'll even do it without a phone and all this, and I'm just like thinking, oh my gosh. Like, <laughs> I've had to go to the library many times in my life and yeah. do printing and things that way and it, I just can't imagine doing that anymore. Going so. back, yeah. I'll tell you if what, you our power that, was out. Were amazing. <laughs> our power was out for less than an hour. Yeah. <laughs> we're like and thinking our whole life is ending. Yes. We're spoiled. The separation anxiety is real. Yeah. And it's it's difficult. It's weird, like even our cell phones, I mean yeah. that obviously the internet's out, but our phone should still work on cell phones. Our, our, we really weren't. Yeah, our cell signal does not work so. that well without our Wi Fi, which was out. <laughs> And I was editing a video in the couch with the recliner up, which our new couch has electric <laughs> recliner. I couldn't get out of the couch. <laughs> well, he could. He just likes to be specific. And put it all the way I didn't want to break the couch getting out of it. <laughs> so I wasn't here to watch him get out. So that was probably pretty funny. Uh, um, all right, back to back to the work. Are just some Under Armour men's like pants. I don't know if they're like golf pants or what, but uh, we just picked these up last week when we were showing you guys that we went out for my birthday haul. Yeah. Um, I almost passed on them. I don't know why. They were fairly cheap, uh, 4 50 They were like a half off that day. Um, but normally like these light colors, I always find flaws on them when I get home, even though I don't see them in the store, which I did. I did find a few flaws, almost returned them, but I was like, you know what? They only paid 4 50 all at least. <laughs> double my 450 yeah. so I listed them and they actually sold for $27 plus shipping so I made like almost 20 bucks off of them wow yeah well I'm glad I did not return them and when I say flaws there was like a very faint spot on the back and maybe two little snags here and there nothing bad like these were probably $80 pants to begin with so yeah someone's still getting a good deal all right this is something that's forever to sell and it's just a Zara kids gingerbread sweater that was my son's I think I bought this off kid is in a while back for 20 I think both my kids have worn it and someone finally offered me 15 and I just accepted because I think it was already listed last Christmas and didn't sell so I'll take my $12 and buy something new <laughs> all right this little Charlie Brown plush came from a garage sale 
filler bag type thing. So I had 47 cents into this and it sold for $6 plus shipping on Facebook. So what a return. About $5 on that. I'll take that. <laughs> Make it 10 times. Yeah, I mean, all the plush. Your money. If you guys have been watching our channel, you saw me sell like nine in a bundle the other day. So we made like a $30 profit on those. Yeah. I've sold a couple others. So probably 40 to 50 bucks profit is what I've made on the plush, which is, I think, pretty good. Yeah, plush is an easy thing to get into if, yep. if it interests you. I know it's one of those things not everybody likes doing it. Um, I don't but, like selling $6 plush. Right, I right. like selling like that $30 plush I yeah. sold the other day. So. Yeah. Uh, this is one of those... Hospices. Serums. Yep. <laughs> so that's the last of the, the, the black label ones that we had. So those are the ones that we're selling for more, and this one sold for the most so far, um, $42. So, nice. Yeah, very happy it's with like that. It's like it's getting better and better as I more sell. I know, but now we're out of them. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, and then these are some Ola Kai men's just leather slip-on shoes. I did pay up for these at fourteen ninety-nine. They've taken forever to sell, and I think it's because I priced them so high because I paid so much for them. But I'm still happy with the outcome. I think I had them listed at sixty something. Someone offered me fifty, so I make forty on posh, so about a twenty-five dollar profit there. Uh, but yeah, I love the brand, and those were leather, so I knew that they would eventually do well. All right, the other pair of Echo sneakers. These are women's. These are one sold on. I think this was eBay. Yeah. Yeah, they are. So the, the other, other one was sold on, on Posh. Mark. Mark. Those yeah. are men's. The men seem to do really well for me, if more than women's. Men's Echo. Yeah. Um, and then these. A lot of the Echo men's are also Gore-Tex, which. Oh yeah. Out. Those ones weren't, but. Anyways, these are like a quilted, kind of like a rose gold color. These took a while to sell. I did pay $8.99 for them and they sold for $28 plus shipping on eBay. So these were a random size. I think they were like a 43, which like was like a women's 12 and a half or something. So not a ton of people probably even wear that size. Yeah. So happy with that still. And then these Clark's Fisherman sandals really surprised me. I only listed these a few days ago, expected them not to sell really to like spring break time. But they sold fast for, I paid $4.99 for them. They sold for $29 plus shipping, but they also sold through global shipping. So I did see they're going to Australia and the buyer was all in like 80 bucks for these. So that's crazy to me, but yeah. I don't know. They might be having trouble getting stuff right now. I, I honestly thought we weren't able to ship to Australia at this time, right. but I don't know. I would assume eBay would have shut down global shipping to Australia if we weren't. So maybe yeah. they know more than I do. They probably do. <laughs> so, yeah, it might have just been like for a few weeks. I mean, I heard that a few months ago. Yeah, it's think, been a while. So. I don't really pay attention to the news <laughs> enough to know too much. Right. All right, um, this is the brand Steo, which I've only sold a couple times. It's really expensive new. It's in the category of like Patagonia North Face, stuff like that. But yeah, I picked this up recently for $4 and it sold the first day I listed it, actually within like the first hour for full list price, $29.95 plus ship. So wow. just a shirt. Yeah. The shirt was probably $80 new though. It is an expensive brand new. So if you ever find it, pick it up. All right, and I sold this Life is Good shirt. It just says Life is Good Grand Canyon. Um, Life is Good does well for me. I don't pick it up unless it's really cheap. This was $1.99 and it sold for $17.08 plus shipping on eBay. So not bad okay. for a $2 pickup. Is that still a company or is it because vintage it, only? I think it is because I bought a few pieces retail arbitrage oh, okay. recently. So unless they were just clearancing those out. Right. This was not the best sale, but I just love these little gap sandals. Every time I find them, I pick them up. They're just like, look like Birkenstock, so faux leather, little sandals. I paid $4.50 for these, and they only sold for $12.69 plus ship, so I'm basically just doubling my money, but they're cute. <laughs> so somebody's little baby's gonna look super cute in those. It's, you're doubling your money yeah, too, right? True, <laughs> and they were new at tag. So. <laughs> Um, these are some Adidas. They're called the 90 sandals. I actually bought four or five pairs of these retail arbitrage at 10 bucks a piece, like last week. And this first pair sold for 32.71 plus shipping. So really good again for retail arbitrage. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm sure the rest will sell off. 
Not bad. You've been killing it with the retail arbitrage, I'll tell you. I wanted to more, but I'm obviously not going out at the moment. <laughs> right. Uh, so. Yeah, usually we're, we're happy just kind of like like doubling our money on retail yeah, arbitrage just because it's easy. If I would have sold for 25 after fees made yeah. $10 profit, I'd have been happy, but made more than that. Yeah. Um, and then these, and also like the things I've been selling retail arbitrage recently, a lot of them are summer things, and I'm just surprised they're already selling like... Right. I really bought them, listed them, expecting them not to sell to like that very March time frame. <laughs> People are ready for the cold to be gone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this, these last two are also viewer sales. Um, this is a bundle going out to Elizabeth. So this is an Orvis women's like a Chanel sweater. I think that's how you say it, Chanel. And then this is an UGG sweater. So. She bought these both for thirty-one seventy-five plus shipping. I have total into both six ninety-five. So, Elizabeth, thank yeah. you so much. She said she loves to watch our channel. Awesome, thank you for the support, Elizabeth. And last but not least, Chris says I always say that. I'm not to say it. <laughs> I don't um, say it so that you don't ever say it. It's, no, just... it's just funny. I don't. What else do you say? We have. We and have. Lastly, the... <laughs> and last, and okay, here's another sale. <laughs> I don't know. We we each have those things that we always say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that um, annoys some people. This sweater is so cool. This is going out to our viewer Brooke. Um, she said she saw it in our haul. What, a month or two back and she just has loved it and wanted it since she likes uh, I think she said she collects or loves vintage sweaters so awesome uh, I had it listed uh, kind of high I did see some eBay comps I didn't see an exact one of this like print or anything but I saw some eBay comps 50 to like 70 dollars so I listed mine I think around 59 I had a sale running on Kitizen of 20% off one because Kitizen was doing a thing where if you put your discount on 20% off one, they'll put your sweaters or whatever item of the day that they choose on the like main screen under like this little banner. So I did that and so I brought it down to like 47 and then she reached out and asked if I do 45. So I was happy to do that since it's been sitting yeah. at least a month at this point. So. Thank you so much, Brooke. 45 free ship. I bought it for five, and then the shipping's gonna cost nine fifty. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much for the support, Brooke. So yeah, that's what's going <laughs> out right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hectic day, but you just get to sleep around and not Lucky do anything. Duck. I feel like he's dreaming. He he's is. His little mouth. What are you doing? <laughs> What's my boy doing? <laughs> so we're gonna get this stuff packed up, and then we'll be right back. All right, guys, we got everything all packed up and we did have another sale come in, which I'm going to come over here and grab these uh, Timberland boots. They were over here. Like in the pile. On the floor. Oh, in the pile. Uh, was like yeah, right here. These. Where's the other one? So Kathy's trying to figure out the shipping on them. Yeah, so like they sold on eBay. They are global shipping. So buyer paid $59.95 plus $12.99 shipping, but they're two and a half pounds as is. So they should fit three pounds with the box even. But uh, it's $13.45 through eBay. Or I could do UPS Pirate Ship for eleven sixty seven, which that is a good savings, and we're already going to UPS for a Mercari order. But I don't like, because of the the address for the global shipping is so random. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I normally just, you know, copy this and then paste it, but it, like, has the reference number. Yeah, I don't want to mess wanna any mess. of that up. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I mean, technically she paid twelve ninety nine for shipping. It's only, like, 46 cents more, so I'll just ship them USPS and take the 46 cent <laughs> loss. No big deal. Uh, we bought these just, again, on my birthday thing the other day for twelve ninety nine. so... Even if I type in thirteen forty-five, we're still profiting thirty-five dollars off of these boots. So very, very nice. So yeah. So we'll go ahead and pack those up <laughs> off camera in a USPS box, right? Yeah. Because that's going to Kentucky. Kentucky. And what are you gonna do today? He's gonna go get a massage in his three-car garage. <laughs> And then get some carrots for dessert <laughs> so, outside. So you're probably wondering what three-car garage. <laughs> so 
for some reason, we've discovered one of Reese's and our old Roxy, Roxy, our old chocolate lab. They used to get so triggered by the word three car garage, and we never really, we only noticed it because when we were looking for a house, I was like, like a sound. I was trying to get us a three car garage, and all, so like we were saying it a lot, and they would always act like that. And we don't know what it is about those words that trigger him. <laughs> Three Car Garage Why and Massage is now the new one that we've discovered. Right <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he acts like that. From a deep sleep, just get up and I was all hyper now. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we know why he likes the word carrots, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did you want to talk about the board? Sure. Uh, you updated it. Yeah, I updated it, but I'm not very happy with it. I mean, so I've only missed two full days of listing this month, which that's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and then yesterday, like I said, I only did nine. And again, not only nine, if I did nine, but it was more value, I'd be happier. But it was yeah. only for 295 So. But yeah. you weren't feeling great. And, you know, you that needed the rest. It. And I did finish also cross posting all of everything. So I'm not like behind other than I didn't get those listings up, but. Yeah. But now I'm going to like figure out what I'm going to list today because I only have maybe five drafts available to me at the moment. So I definitely have to photograph something if I want to list something. So, yeah. I don't know. This month is... <laughs> and then we have Thanksgiving coming planned. up. Yeah. So that'll be a... I don't know if I'll get any listings up unless I, again, prepare those ahead of time and then yeah. just have them go live on their own pretty much. Because we're pretty much going to family's house that day and mm -hmm. probably going to make a whole day of it. So yep. I'm not going to really work on Thanksgiving. Yeah, this is the first Thanksgiving in Hi. five years or so. Maybe, yeah, about five years where we have a lot of the family around. Um, usually it's been me and Kathy and then my parents who both live here. But now we have a couple. A couple of my siblings have moved back and their families and stuff. So we're all getting together for the first time in a good uh, few years to have a good Thanksgiving together and all that fun stuff. So I'm excited because I love Thanksgiving because I love to eat. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, we're going to get this stuff off the post office, which hopefully has power back too. <laughs> I'm assuming everybody got their power back, not just us, but... Um, but yeah, we're going to get this stuff off to the post office. We don't have to get the kids home from school because that's another thing. The kids are home all week this week, yeah. which kind of surprised us a little bit. We were expecting, you know, three, typically it's usually been the three days, right? Like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, well, when we were and then the weekend. Their school district just and <laughs> So yeah, so that extra two days, they, they got the whole week off. And it's great. We love having them around, but it just adds... Um, during the work day. <laughs> so adds a little bit of stress and trying to keep them occupied and all that. Machine didn't work for <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, today was a crazy, uh, non-typical day. So I'm glad it's kind of coming to an end <laughs> so we can get back to the regular schedule tomorrow. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the video and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.